The next problem we want to start to solve on the fly for the Miss Hit Quick Fix series is the hooks. Now a lot of my players don't have hooks with a lob wedge. In fact, at that level of loft, it's hard to curve the ball a ton. So we're going to focus on the driver, which is again, one of those quick ways you can ruin your day out on the course if you got the hook that you just can't talk to. Now, we obviously would assume the blade's a little bit shut. So we're not fixing your grip, we're not doing any heavy swing changes, but one of the quickest things you can do is tee the ball lower. Now let me explain why. When the tee is high, it gives you room to come from underneath, inside, a shut blade could possibly turn over even more, and now we've hit a quick hook. So this ball kind of going that way turns into the old snap. Now, what we're gonna do instead is tee at about three wood height, a shade over three wood height to be honest. And again, go ahead and tee it lower, stand on top of it. If you did want a little feel thing or if you were gonna get to the range eventually and practice one day, we could go ahead and feel like the logo of my glove stays inside of the club head or my left hand glove hand stays up to the sky coming through. And that's gonna help keep the face a little bit more stable, a little bit more square. It's also gonna keep my attack angles a little bit more level or down coming through it so that that loft stays with us versus falling behind it and letting a chef blade flip over and turning into the hook. So teeing it lower helps you stay on top of it. Logo of the glove inside helps keep the blade more square. And knock on wood, if we make a decent move at it, it should be a nice little cut. Hopefully this little hook fix helps keep your day on track on the golf course.